perhaps the most talked about golf club on the market today. This is the Callaway Great Big Bertha Epic Driver. And guess what? It is pretty epic. Let's talk about the technologies that go into making this club what it is. We're going to start with the crown. As you can kind of see it there, it's a triaxial carbon crown. And what that does is it lets us put a lot of weight low into the club. This crown weighs under 10 grams. It's the lightest crown Callaway has ever produced. We got the sliding weight in the back, 17 grams comes stock, gives you a lot of different shot adjustment. But the biggest thing about this driver is its jailbreak technology. Callaway uses two titanium rods behind the face right here. And what that does is it strengthens the crown and the sole for when contact is made away from the sweet spot. Now, what that might mean for you, it's gonna give you more ball speed on those shots, hopefully getting you more distance and putting you in the fairway a lot more and setting you up for a wonderful round of golf. Filling out the GBB Epic driver line for Callaway this year is the Epic Sub-Zero. Traditionally, Sub-Zero has been the lower launching, lower spinning head, and while that's still true, Callaway's really turned it on its ear as far as forgiveness that's going to be built into it. This is the higher MOI head, believe it or not, and it's because of the technologies inside of it. You still have a 12 gram and a 2 gram weight in the sole, which you can move the CG forward for a lower launch, back for a higher launch. You also have the use of triaxial carbon and the exo cage. The amount of weight being saved by those two features is what's allowing this MOI to jump up as much, and if that wasn't enough, Jailbreak technology is the most buzzed about technology right now. By connecting the sole to the crown, ball speeds are being retained at some pretty ridiculous rates based off what we've heard from different user feedback. There's not a club out right now generating this type of buzz. We're here talking 2017 Honma TW737 series irons. As you see here, we've got four different models, three are forgings. We've got a VN model, which is a half cavity, more workable design for better players. V model, which is their standard cavity back. And the VS, which is actually a stronger lofted, more distance oriented forged iron. In addition, we have the P model, which is the cast model as well, for those players looking for maximum forgiveness. The forged models utilize a new W forging process, which is extremely rigid, but provides better distance control. Unified face progression allows players who want to mix and match different models of the set. Really exciting iron coming more soon. I've seen soon. a lot about the Ask Chad series on social media, and uh, I'm not crazy on social media. I wanted to do it in person. So I am with Chad, and here's my question. I'm a steel shaft guy. I like consistency. I like the heavier weight. I don't want to be a graphite guy. I don't see any advantages to it. I think it's going to be more inconsistent, and you always make it so lightweight. Convince me why I should think about at least trying graphite. First off, that's hurtful, man. You're just coming right at me like that. Come on now, let's keep an open mind. Um, you like golfing, correct? I do like golfing. And you want to golf for a long time, right? A very long time. All right, then graphite right there is going to extend your playing career five, maybe ten years. So when you get into those twilight years and you got nothing to do but read the paper and play golf, you'll be able to play golf. So that's one. Okay. Uh, for two, it used to be a big stigma on graphite iron shafts that they weren't consistent. But that was when the materials, the carbon, wasn't really as consistent as it needed to be. Nowadays, I can give you uh, equal consistency to steel. So you're going to have longevity in your playing, you're going to have consistency, and then the added benefit of distance. It's a lighter weight shaft. I know you say you don't like lighter weight, but a lot of guys are moving to 105, 115, and we have those. We also have graphite iron shafts to go up to 125 grams. So when you talk about weight, you're talking about maybe a 5 gram difference between steel. So I can, I can give you something that's heavy enough to make you feel comfortable, extend your playing career, give you consistency, and give you more distance. So if any of those things sound like maybe something that would be interesting to a logical man, you might want to give those a shot. Now, for the golf geek in me, here's my counter argument. I'm going to go to a graphite shaft, and I'm going to see my irons that play at D2. They're going to drop down to what, like C5? Oh. Come on, that, that's just way too light. That's going to yeah. be out of whack. Yeah. I, I, I can't do that. Yeah, and if, and if you were talking to maybe another graphite shaft manufacturer, you'd run into that problem most definitely. But you're dealing with Fujikura. So we have a design team that is top-notch in this industry. We have Pro 85, 95, 75, 65 shafts that will swing weight like an S300 shaft. So when you put them in your irons right now, it's just a one-to-one -one swap. You get that D2 swing weight. We also have another technology called metal composite technology, which is where we add some metal to the shaft in certain places to get it also to swing weight out to a uh, D2, D1, D3, depending on what your head weights are now. So we have multiple options with multiple technologies that will move weight around in the shaft that will, you can just do a one-to-one -one swap with what you got now and feel no difference whatsoever. 
Well, I asked Chad, and I'm satisfied with the answers. I'm going to have to give Graphite Iron Chefs a shot. Maybe you should, too. One thing I really enjoy about Seymour Putters is their giant lineup. This one right here is the mini giant. It's the perfect size for a guy like me. It's not giant. This is giant. Dude, that thing is huge. Come on, now. This thing's kind of giant, maybe. It's giant to me. Look how tiny it is. But it's, it's the perfect size for me. But it works. New for 2017 is the Odyssey O-Works putter. Specifically, what you're seeing here is the micro hinge insert. This insert is designed to get the ball up and rolling faster, giving every golfer a truer roll. In addition, you've got the new Versity alignment system, which provides color contrast and alignment, make it easier for putters to make good putts every Just single coming day. Coming underneath the Odyssey name, Toulon Designs has really started to flex their muscles. What I've got here is the new ATL Proto model, and what you see is a mid-mallet design, Still the same neck adjustability options and multiple weighting positions. This is going to allow the MOI to be adjusted for each person in their individual stroke. Taking a look now at the TaylorMade TP5, TP5X golf balls. What TaylorMade is saying is their most complete tour ball ever. So first off, we've got the TP5. It's a slightly lower compression, going to be a lower ball flight, and it's going to be the softest feel. TP5X, going to be a touch firmer, going to be a higher ball flight, and it's going to give you the most distance out of these two golf balls. TaylorMade super excited about these. Both are five-layer balls geared to give you ultimate performance. All right. Everyone has used a GC2 at some point. If you're a golf tech nerd, if you're an equipment nerd, a junkie, you've used a GC2. It's the most popular unit out there for fitters, for golfers, all these things going on. So why update it? Why was it time to update it? Well, if you look at technology, technology is always increasing. We launched the GC2 in 2010. So we're not like a lot of other companies that maybe a year later we feel like we have to launch something new and something that's a, a, a minor improvement. So we listen to all of our uh, partners, whether they be club fitters, manufacturers, consumers, all those people. With the advent of adding HMT a couple years ago, that was another advancement in technology. What we've decided to do is take all that information from our people and combine it into one unit. And with that, we took into some of the shortcomings that we saw, even though we still have really good technology and really good product, and improved it. So what you have now is all four cameras are in one unit. With that, we've expanded the hitting zone from 14 inches to 18 inches on both sides coming in and out of the golf ball, right? So uh, going through the golf ball is 18 inches, for the golf club is 14 inches. So you've got a 32 inch span. In the old unit, we had a smaller window to get the golf ball locked in to be able to pick up all those numbers. Now you've got 14 by 14 range. The important part of that in a lot of cases was for people playing outside uh, and doing some things that, um, that needed to be. Taking divots, they would have to move the piece every six to 10 shots. Yeah. Now you're getting 35 to 40. So that's an improvement. The LED screen that you see is an improvement. It's easier to see outdoors. It's very bright and very easy to, to be able to register all that information that you're looking for. The other thing we did is we had a consumable that was a flash, mm -hmm. and it took the picture. Now we've got infrared cameras that take the picture, so there's no need to replace that. We've, uh, we've done a, a job with a battery now. The battery is very easily removed and, and replaced without any problems. And it lasts 10 hours now versus uh, six hours before. So there was a lot of technological advances that were taken into consideration over the last six years. And we've put them all into this new GC quad. So it's a self-contained unit, captures all the golf ball, all the golf club data, and then has some software with it that you can have some fun. You'll see something coming from us that's an entertainment experience as well as a golf experience. Two things, one of them is called Zombies, which is a lot of fun, you'll see that coming. And then there's another game that's fun also called Roulette. See, there you go, not just an evolution, Foresight again is trying to change the game with the GC Quad. It's coming, it's getting a lot of buzz, and it's gonna be really fun to find out even more. Yes, change the game again, here we go. So, Shrixon's got three different tour level balls now, but uh, picking one's proven to be a little bit difficult. Look at you, you're a mess. You don't have to do that anymore, James. You can go to Shrixon.com, find your nearest Shrixon baller dealer, and you can get a trial pack. So you can get a half dozen of each one of those three tour level balls, find out which one works for you, and guess what? You're gonna save a lot of money doing that because that's a lot of ammo. Find which one works best for you. 2017 Titleist has released the 917 D2 and D3 drivers. Now, this is their most tech savvy driver to date. 
we talk about how they've had the SureFit Hosel system for quite some time now. Now they include SureFit CG, this little bold, this thing in the back here. There is a movable, removable weight that slides in. It goes from 8 to 16 grams. You could pick whether you want the weight in the neutral setting. You could pick it in the toe or in the heel to help manipulate the ball flight. So between the SureFit CG and the SureFit Hosel, Titleist can really get you dialed in to get you your most consistent ball flight ever taking a look at the Wilson Staff Triton driver, and it is one of the most unique heads on the market. The sole plate comes completely off, which allows you to dial in the ball flight that you want for multiple different player types. James and I here, we're different type of golfers. What kind of ball flight do you usually have, James? I'm a low ball hitter, so I use the titanium plate. Titanium plate's going to increase spin and increase launch a little bit. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, I am a notoriously high ball hitter. So what I've done is put in the carbon fiber plate that's gonna raise the CG, which is going to lower my launch angle, lower my ball flight, and hopefully produce some fantastic drives. Taking a look at Happy Putters, a very adjustable putter that's out on the marketplace, and this one's certainly a little different than everything else you see. First off, we're just going to start with the face. We do have some nice grooves on the face, and of course it says happy. When you're on the putting greens, you don't want to be miserable. You do want to be happy. You'll tend to make a little bit more putts. Now, looking at the sole, we've got two weights. You could adjust it to make it a heavier option or a lighter option. And then you can see this screw in the middle. What this does is it changes the alignment aid. So right now I have just the black and white alignment aid. And as you can see right here, they have two other options for the alignment aid. One's a double line and one's got a little more shapes. So if you're somebody who likes to align basically with shapes, you can do that. If you like the single line better, you have that option as well. When you order these putters, you're going to get the weights, you're going to get the multiple alignment aids, and you're going to get the oversized grip whatever it's going to do to keep you happy on the greens. Here we have the new Stealth line of putters from Seymour. It's the same familiar shapes. What I have in my hand right now is a PTM-1, uh, but the finish has been blacked out a little bit. It's using darker paint fill. Uh, the RST is still red, but it's a really deep metallic red instead of that bright one that we're used to seeing. Framed by the black lines instead of white lines on the RST, it gives a different aesthetic look that's going to fit other people's eyes.